Their faces say everything. This is a couple broken by China's one-child policy. A mother forced into an abortion three months before her baby boy was to be born. It all happened a week ago today. Mr. Zhou explains. 20 people from the family planning department arrived at four in the morning. They kicked the door down, he shows us the footprint, and then they held him down while they took his wife away. Within hours, she'd been injected. As we look at the paperwork confirming the abortion, he explains that he didn't even know where she'd been taken. By the time he'd found out, the outcome was inevitable. He shows us the photographs he took. Here, his wife is on the bed, his aborted son is in the bucket. <laughs> At some point, Mr. Zhou will need to explain what has happened to his first son, 10-year-old Zhuing Fong. Of course, the reality is that his existence is the reason his little brother was aborted. It really is a very, very difficult story to listen to, and the Zhou family are by no means alone. Although the one-child policy does these days allow couples in rural areas to have a second child if they pay a fine, the quotas to keep the population down have never been changed. And so it's claimed officials are sanctioning forced abortions to keep within those quotas and to ensure their own promotion. Mr. Joe took us to the hospital. He was here a week ago pleading to pay the fine and save his son. Well, the really striking thing is that this isn't some sort of a backstreet clinic. It's a proper hospital. We're on the second floor, and this is the room where the abortion, the forced abortion, happened. We found just two members of staff. The first wouldn't comment, and the second had this. <laughs> This is then the heartbreak of population control in China. We've asked the authorities to comment on our report. They've yet to respond. Mark Stone, Sky News, in Shandong Province, China.